Hi, my name is Brian Lane, Certified Pedorthist with Dr. Comfort. In this informative video, we will be discussing how to properly measure and fit your patients for footwear. The items that I'll be using to assist with measuring and fitting will be the Brannock device, a shoe fitting form to record your results, a shoe horn, a display center, as well as a fitting stool. All these tools will assist you in making sure that you are fitting the patients properly. And the goal of this video is to ensure the success with your footwear program with measuring and fitting. And now I'd like to conduct a measurement and fitting on my good friend Jane. To begin, you will want to have the patient stand up and walk in place. A helpful fitting tip in this situation will be to make sure that you're having the patient walk in place. This will ensure a very natural position and will achieve the desired length and width when measured with the Brannock device. If you will also notice, Jane is wearing socks and you want to have the patient wear socks or stockings, preferably the socks or stockings they'll be wearing with the shoes. Now the first step is to make sure that they're properly placed on the Brannock device with the heel all the way back and you'll see I grab Jane's instep. Next, measure the heel to the longest toe. In this case, it's a size eight and a half or a length of eight and a half. I check by looking directly over her toes or I could use a credit card and slide it right up against her toes, reading the next available number. Here's a fitting tip for this situation. If you come across a patient with their second toe longer than their first, measure to that digit. Next is the heel to the longest arch. The arch is also known as the metatarsal phalangeal joint or the ball of the foot. Again, reading numbers facing me and in yellow, because Jane is a woman, I'm going to read that that indicator is a size 8. The next is a midpoint measurement of taking the difference between the two, which is an 8.5. I use the 8.5 to indicate the width on Jane's foot. In this case, it indicates that Jane is an 8.5 wide. Jane once again walks in place. And this time, we will use the other side of the Brannock device for her left foot. Again, I properly place her foot in the Brannock device, taking the first measurement, which is the heel to the longest toe. In this case, heel to the longest toe is a size 8. I could check it either method. The next measurement is the heel to the ball, or the arch length, and that happens to be a 7.5 with Jane. So the midpoint measurement for these two will be a size 8. You're taking 8 and 7.5, and in this case, taking the larger of the two, which is size eight. Then I slide the sliding bar over to check the width of her foot. I follow the eight straight down, and the eight also indicates she's a size wide. Here's a fitting tip in this situation. If you come across a patient with two different size feet, always fit to the larger of the two feet. In situations that the shoe size is more than a size and a half difference or more, you can order a split pair from Dr. Comfort. Jane measures an eight and a half wide by the larger of her two feet. So I'll be removing the eight and a half wide, which is, happens to be the flute off of the display rack. If you'll notice, I'll be donning the shoes for her using the shoe spoon or shoe horn. A fitting tip in this situation is to assist the patient with donning and doffing the shoes. This will ensure that the patient is putting the shoes on correctly and it will actually speed up the process a little bit. Next to her left. Once the patient has put the shoes on, then we will have them walk around to ensure the shoes fit appropriately, you want to first check the length of the toes, making sure there's at least three-eighths to a half an inch room from the end of the patient's toe to the end of the shoe. Then checking the width of the shoe, making sure her metatarsal phalangeal joint is at the width of the shoe or the break point of the shoe. As the patient walks around with the shoes on, observe for heel slippage, balance issues, or any discomfort the patient might experience. With Dr. Comfort, you have the option of ordering all non-custom products online by simply going to our website at www.drcomfort.com and getting a simple username and password, you're able to place those orders quickly. You may also place orders by calling our 800 number at 800-556-5572 and speak to any one of our delightful customer service representatives. Or you may place your order by faxing your orders in to Dr. Comfort. Dr. Comfort wants to ensure the success of your therapeutic footwear program. By following these simple procedures, the use of the Brannock device, the recording of your measurements, as well as the fitting and display center, all of these tools will help to assist you with a very successful program.